Okay. <laughs> so we're going to try and put that yeah. big ass tire on top, of that. on top of the truck. Just the two of us. <laughs> Let me put this down so I can help you hopefully. So getting ready for a trip is a challenge for absolutely everybody. We are absolutely no exception. Everyone has a unique thing that they have to deal with. Since we live in a condo, we have our own unique set of challenges. Between restrictions, storage, and curious onlookers, sometimes the simplest tasks take way longer than they should. So this job should have only took us about 15 minutes. I just wanted to throw the tire up top, adjust the tie down points, get it ready for tomorrow morning. But instead it turned into about two hours. We have a high rate of retirees in our area. As a matter of fact, that building behind me is a retirement community and we also have a lot of retirees in our building. So not a lot of people do what we do. So obviously when we're outside doing anything on the truck, it draws a lot of attention and curiosity. Now by no means am I complaining, because let's face it, our elders have cooler stories than we do at our age. So I know full well going outside, if I'm doing anything, there's a good chance that a 15 minute job is not gonna be 15 minutes. Like today, we had these two beautiful ladies walk up and they were super curious about the rooftop tent. Then they started comparing it back in their day when they used to camp in canvas tents. Now this five second time lapse you're gonna see was actually two hours. So I'm gonna send you in and let you see what Joanne's doing. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We are so happy to have you here. As you can see, we are in some organized chaos. We are getting ready for our um, second annual trip that we started last year at this time. We went out to one of BC's iconic trails and we had so much fun. We thought, hey, let's do it again. So I'm going to just run you through a little bit of what we have going on and what I'm doing here today to help get ready for this trip. Um, if you want to find out what that trip is, you can either hold on tight and wait for the video or hey, go back and check and see if you can find it, what we did last year. You may have noticed we got these new cases. They are amazing. We used them on our summer trip to the Kootenays and we experienced a lot of dust, a ton of dust. And these cases kept everything brilliant. Um, we got them off of Amazon. They are very sturdy. They have awesome claps, clasps, sorry guys, amazing handles and they are definitely lined. So we bought four. We have one that we call our utility bin, we have our toiletry bin, we have a bedding bin, and we have our kitchen pantry style bin. Um, I'm just gonna give you a quick look and show you what we have inside. Uh, our utility bin, we are carrying some fans for the tent. We have our lights, we have our water purifier, we have some ropes, we have our hammock. We will also keep our speakers in here. Um, what else are we putting in here? We are putting in our thermosil, cause you know we're gonna get mosquitoes probably. Um, just our general, we have nowhere to put it bin. Brilliant. Then we have our toiletry bin. I won't bore you with too, too many details, but the amazing thing is everything kept so clean. We have our collapsible toilet, amazing, amazing toilet. I just keep some towels in here. I have a mirror, I, of course, soap shampoos, toilet paper, anything you would need if you were at home in your washroom is in this bin. Pretty amazing that we can condense it all down to one. We also have our bedding bin and I won't actually open that one. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we keep our bedding in it other than our pillows. Um, and I also keep um, our air mattress pump in there to supplement the foam in the tent. We use our Nemo air mattress that we purchased for hiking way back in like 2019. It's amazing. So for convenience, I keep the air pump inside of the bedding box. Pantry box, kitchen box, also self-explanatory. All the things that we kind of have to go back and forth between the truck and the house. In the deck system kitchen box, that's the stuff that'll just stay there and be there. So things like, you know, coffee grinds, sugar, the things that really you don't want to leave in the truck. Again, things that we use both at home and when we go out, stay in our pantry kitchen box. I also have my little ammo box. That is my day trip and we're not at camp yet toilet box. 
hand sanitizer, toilet paper, baggies to put the toilet paper in because we are not going to pollute our planet with used toilet paper. That is absolutely disgusting. Um, yesterday, I did charge up the Jackeries already. I charged up our speakers, our thermosil. What else did we do yesterday? Today, we will be also charging up all the electronics, um, GoPros, gimbals, speakers, sorry, not speakers, receivers, just everything, everything, drone. All the rest of the charging will happen today. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on right now. Stick around, we'll show you more in a bit. All right. We are testing out our new, what well, kind of new, Luminous projector. Oh, here we go. Okay. Bluetooth. Figuring it out to see if we can get it to work so we can use it on our next trip. It's going to be epic. Okay guys, as you can see, we are in a storage unit. Most of you know we live in a condo, therefore we do not have a garage. We have pretty much everything charged up, ready to go. Did that yesterday. Quite a few things already in the truck, but we've got to grab a few things. Let's get at it. All right, we are going to grab Okay, we might need these poles, not 100% sure. Propane fire pit, maybe. We are gonna grab some tables. Okay, hello sir. All right. What do we think? Julka first. We're gonna bring it? Um, well that's up to you. Might as well. Yeah, okay. Doesn't take that much space, right? Uh, <laughs> kinda does, but that's cool. Well, if it's gonna be dusty, yeah. if. So we hadn't really planned on bringing the canopy, but given there's been some rain, we probably better. And this puppy has not made an appearance in a while. Our official cooking table. This is the guy I need next. All right. And a, oh, water jug. Definitely do not want to be without I that. Think we need those, though. Okay. So do we want to bring this one or? Actually not a ton that we need to grab here today. Hey, while you're here, hit that sub button. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Sounds weird, but I'm taking one thing at a time because it's like just trying to build up a little puzzle in there. No, right? totally. I'll bring out the tables. All right, let's shut her down. Do not need the chainsaw. Our spare poles. That should be everything. Ooh, gonna be a good trip. Yeah. All right. Truck maintenance. 
So obviously this is different content than you're used to on this channel, but this is the reality of doing what we do. Maintenance is the top priority before we go anywhere. We rely on this truck to keep us safe and get us home, so we treat it with the utmost respect. Now obviously we can't get out every week, so we thought this would give you a little peek onto what we do to get ready for a trip. So whether it's greasing the upper control arms or restocking the pantry box, it doesn't matter. Everything needs to get done before we head out on a trip, and I'm lucky to have a partner that's totally in sync with me. So guys, there it is. A little bit of what we do when we're getting ready to go out. We obviously didn't take you to the grocery store and grab propane or grab gas because you know what? doesn't matter how you camp. Everybody does that. So until next time, get out there, enjoy life, and find your moment. Just that prep stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Just that prep stuff that nobody sees. Nope. All the behind scenes, behind the scenes. I think we both have, uh, what do they call it? It's been that? a long day prepping. <laughs> And we haven't even recorded all of it. No. I keep forgetting to grab the camera. Another problem for... Oh, wait. I was ready to go in. We got to go put that away. <laughs> <laughs>